This is Learning in Hand. I'm Tony Vincent, and this is the show where I share tips, how-tos, and ideas for using today's digital tools for teaching and learning. Episode 27, Sorting, Labeling, and Matching Games, recorded April 2014, happens now. I'm excited to tell you about the iPad app, Stick Around. I've been using apps for teaching and learning for a long time, and I think Stick Around is fantastic. And I should, because I co-created it. I worked with Morris Cook, the design studio behind the awesome Explain Everything whiteboarding and screencasting app. If you're familiar with Explain Everything, you'll feel right at home and stick around. The idea behind Stick Around is simple. Players move stickers onto the correct spots on a background. The thing is, you not only use Stick Around to play these sticker puzzles, but you use it to create them as well. Let me show you sample puzzles. Afterwards, I'll tell you about creating your very own. When you begin a puzzle, you are presented with the information screen. This might have directions, audio, an image, and or an explain everything tutorial. There can even be a web link that will open a web page right inside of Stick Around's browser. Begin the puzzle by clicking start. You can see the sticker tray on the right. Pull out the tray to see the stickers. You can always slide it back in to move it out of the way. Your goal is to drag each sticker from the tray onto the background where it belongs. Some puzzles might have blanks, boxes, or question marks to indicate where to place stickers. This puzzle requires you to just place the sticker somewhere on or very near the meaning of the word. When you think you have the stickers in the right spots, click the check button. If not all stickers are correctly placed, you'll see a message and have the chance to continue working on the puzzle. If you check and everything is correct, you'll see the award screen where you have the chance to view the completed puzzle. If you enter your name and choose Save to Camera Roll, a screenshot of your completed puzzle will be saved. The screenshot will have stamped at the bottom your name, number of attempts, that's how many times you click the check button, date, and how long it took if the puzzle had the timer turned on. Hey, check this out. Stickers can have arrows. These are handy for labeling puzzles, like placing measurements on a ruler or labeling parts of a cell. In addition to arrows, stickers can have notes. Clicking the info button reveals any comments. This sticker has a comment and it has a web link. By clicking the link button, you will open StickAround's web browser. Click done to return to your puzzle. Stickers don't have to be text. They can be images or drawings. This puzzle stickers are all images. And do you see that little triangle on each sticker? Those are play buttons. Stickers can have recorded audio. In this puzzle, if you click the play button, you hear what the sticker is a picture of. Notebook. This puzzle is about matching homophones. You can click to watch a cute YouTube video before starting the puzzle. The stickers are all clip art, and each one has a play button so you can hear the word used in a sentence. I ran around the track eight times. I can barely breathe. Please leave all of your candy here. There are limitless possibilities for puzzles. Here are some puzzle ideas. Playing puzzles is great, but making them is even better. I like to say, when you make your own study aids, it only aids in your own studying. There are five steps to creating a stick around project. First, design a background using drawing and import tools. Second, add stickers that can be text, images, or drawings. 
Third, make an answer key by indicating where stickers belong on the background. Next, enter information like the puzzle's name, an audio description, author, web link, topic, etc. Fifth, test your puzzle by playing it and making refinements. Watch me create a puzzle before your very eyes. If you want more detailed directions for creating projects, I have recorded a series of video tutorials that you can access within the app or at stickaround.info. There's also a user guide that is helpful. In the videos and the user guide, you can also learn to use lots of other stickaround features, including how to link it with Dropbox, Google Drive, and WebDAV accounts. The process of making your puzzle is powerful. In fact, by the time a student makes a puzzle, he or she probably doesn't need to play it to study. They've most likely already mastered the content. They have the added bonus of having an end product that they can share with others. Puzzles can be shared to other iPads that have Stick Around installed. Sharing can be done through email, Dropbox, Google Drive links, and other apps that can copy and share files through the Open In feature. Brent Catlett in Bellevue Public Schools in Nebraska has set up a Google Drive folder that teachers across his district use to share the best puzzles from their classrooms. Josh Allen, also in Nebraska, has set up a wiki for sharing puzzles. And I encourage anyone sharing puzzles on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus to use the hashtag StickAroundApp so that others can find them. Find links to all of this at learninginhand.com 27. It took our team over a year to develop Stick Around, and we continue to make improvements. I'm really proud of the app, and I am thrilled that students all over the world are learning by creating sticker puzzles. That's it for episode 27. Until next time, check out my website at learninginhand.com and like Learning in Hand on Facebook. Thanks for watching.